Hey there, it's Vita back with another video. I tried recording a reading, several readings earlier today, this morning, and they just were coming out all kind of ways. So I thought, let me take a chill pill, figure out what's going on, start over. So here we go. Hope you all are enjoying your day. I did post a dream message one of the things that I recall speaking on was a king showing up at your door. So, a king showing up at your door. Be mindful of anyone showing up at your door. Pathway. Poverty. change. Someone wants a change coffin at the bottom. Main female, great fortune, imprisonment, courthouse. So same energies as earlier today. They just shuffled around a bit is what it's looking like. So Somebody's pathway has resulted in poverty. They want a change. Coffin is an overall energy followed by a main female. I don't even want to speak on the coffin card right now because I have been having some wicked dreams. Really dark dreams. So why is Pathway here, Spirit? Give me a card for Pathway. Pathway. <laughs> Hangman, Five of Pentacles. Someone is literally hanging by a thread and they are stuck in poverty might be physical poverty i mean they're really searching for coins underneath the couch cushions and mental poverty as well something going on with the past family the past that six of cups there ace of swords behind the six of cups why is poverty here King of Swords, Masculine Energy, Masculine Energy, King of Swords in poverty, bitter about the path that he's chosen. Why is change here? Four of Pentacles. Six of Wands definitely wants to be victorious over this energy. Does not want to hold on any tighter than he already is. Hmm. Knave of Swords behind the Six of Wands. The Empress. Here we go. Here we go. Ugh. Seven of Cups, masculine. I'm gonna stop calling this masculine divine because his behavior is anything but divine at this time. But let's see, let's keep going. Five of Pentacles. This is so jacked up, I swear. Ten of Cups, clarifying the Five of Pentacles. King of Cups, Stone Cold, King of Cups. Eight of Wands. So this could be two Kings, King of Swords, King of Cups. 
there's some sort of movement, communication, online activities, online activities that have to do with money banking fraud something like that yep the world at the bottom queen of cups behind the world knight of wands behind the queen of cups why is that hangman here Hermit in reverse. Let me see. Yep, still in reverse. All right. There was a time where I literally could not stand reversals and didn't read them, but when they come out, they usually have, in my case, They've got strong meaning. So this hermit in reverse clarifying this hangman with the pathway is rather interesting. Someone's not willing to do the work that needs to be done to get out of this tree that spirit has bound them to. This is spiritual. This is a spiritual hanging, literally, because the pathway chosen was not what was in line with the soul mission, pretty much. Yep, look, still fighting. Five of Wands at the bottom. Why is this? Oh, wow, look. The baby behind the throne. This baby doesn't look well at all. That's crazy. King of Swords. That's crazy right there. I just got a crazy vibe off that card. Oh my God. King of Swords clarified by two twos. Two of Swords and the Two of Cups. Hmm. Look, this woman here, she's frowned up. This is not a loving two of cups. This is some sort of business, again, a business coupling. Some kind of coupling that was not based on love, for sure. And whatever agreement there was, something, there was some misleading going on. Something wasn't taken into consideration. Ace of Swords. Past person wanting to come back around to make an offer. This King of Swords wants to come back around yet again. And he's been hovering in these readings for the past couple of weeks. Ten of Swords behind the Knave of Cups. Nine of Pentacles behind the Ten of Swords and the Fool. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Strength, trying to gain strength for this change. But what kind of change is it though, really? Is it, with this hermit being here in reverse, this lets me know that this change is just, it's not a mental, soulful, awakening type change. This is just material especially with this four of four of pentacles this card is literally saying that this one of these kings if it's not the same king is just not changing he's not letting go of this greedy selfish behavior 
And if he is, he's taking his sweet time doing it with this Knight of Pentacles here. Four of Swords behind the Knight of Pentacles. Some illness. Six of Swords behind the Four of Swords. Queen of Swords behind the Six of Swords. All right, let's see. Why is this Strength card here? Yep. Eight of Swords bound mentally and physically bound can't do anything not willing to do anything worthy four of wands at the bottom Eight of Pentacles behind the Four of Wands with Ace of Pentacles behind the Eight of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles, wanting to collaborate with perhaps a high priestess, a feminine who's incredibly intuitive and is on to their dirty little secrets and tricks. So there's some strategy Something's going on where, oh look, Ace of Wands behind the Priestess, Moon behind the Ace of Wands, Seven of Wands. So there, there's someone trying to figure out how to get around the High Priestess who's got her guard up and isn't saying much. Could be something to do with a home or more than one home, several homes. Two people working here, so there's a collaboration. There's some people working and scheming together still. Chasing after this coin because this coin isn't being given to them by the divine. That's not happening. They have to work for it, but they continue to go about it the wrong way. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Let's get the tattoo. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Clarify this Eight of Swords, please and thank you. The world completion of cycle, cycles. Knight of Pentacles, not wanting a cycle to fully close out. Three of Wands behind that, waiting, still waiting for something. Oh, look at this. Would you look at this? Seven of Pentacles with a Magician behind the Seven of Pentacles. Oh, judgment behind the Magician. Hmm. Okay, the world. The Hierophant. Knight of Pentacles. Now I just want to say with this Hierophant and the world, not speaking, this is separate from any twin flame dynamic that I might be picking up here and that is typically what I pick up on. But I also dream a lot about politicians and things that are going on in other countries. My dreams are often very vivid. I do, and I've said this before in other readings, but I really do feel that there is a crumbling of current structures that are happening around the globe. And that energy is picking up pace. It hasn't fully, it's not anywhere near closing out yet, but 
there's been a lot going on on the global scene where these structures are in fact crumbling and there are a lot of people that are going to prison that are being bound both spiritually and physically and some once it's made the news it's going to be really shocking to a lot of people okay let's clarify this actually i want to know about this king of swords king of swords Four of Pentacles. We already got the Four of Pentacles there, so we know that this King of Swords, Nine of Cups behind that, no one's at the party, okay? No one's at the party. And then we've got the Knight of Swords behind the Nine of Cups. Strength again. So this King of Swords, Penny Pitching, Penny Pinching, Five of Pentacles energy. What about this King of Cups? Hmm. Yeah. Look at that. Six of Coin with the Seven of Swords. So I'm inclined to think that honestly it could still be two separate energies. However it might resonate with you, if it's one energy, they're broke. If it's two energies, there's still something that's broken and there's still some sneaky, sneaky behavior going on and a very unequal give and take dynamic. Nine of Pentacles, Page of Swords. This could even be some online spying. Okay, last deck and then I'm gonna close this out. Four of Pentacles with the King of Swords. Constancy. Malady. So, marriage. Officer. Fortune. This Ten of Cups. Oh. This Ten of Cups is a couple here with this King of Cups and this Hermit in reverse. Hmm, okay. Ten of Cups. widower so definitely an ending with that ten of cups there for this king of cups hmm. okay lover these two kings could even be in a relationship an intimate one with this lover here at the bottom or yeah I mean there's always going to be different storylines that can come out of these cards so I just try to read them as best I can let's see anything else spirit I don't think so no feminine energy came out. No queens. No 
Yeah. That's interesting. Let's see. Hmm. That's real interesting. All right, let's do this last card. Let's clarify this Seven of Swords. Nothing. One more time. Sadness. Desire. Lover again. Thought. I can't pronounce this word. <laughs> Gift could be two male lovers, or it could be a past relationship lover trying to make his way back toward a feminine, but there's no feminines out here. And there is a sweetheart in this deck, so I don't always say that this could be male or female energy when I know that I have a sweetheart counterpart to this lover card. So, hmm. Well, I shall continue this reading, if not later this evening, tomorrow. See what is happening. So thank you so much for tuning in. See you next time.